morning everyone and welcome happy black friday <laughs> the day that traditionally people run out of their homes and open their wallets and toss money into the air for the hopes that they will get a deal on something Usually the money is vacuumed up by scum suckers and leeches and they get nothing. They go home empty handed. <laughs> <clears throat> Today is Friday, the 26th of November, 2021, and I welcome you all here to my full day of gameplay streaming. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is a special event for me that I would like to call Black Friday Multiplayer Madness. What that means is that I will be playing single-player RPGs all day. Yes. Um, of course, what it really means is that it's time for us to jump online and face off against the masses of people who want to play games against me. And uh, usually I don't do full multiplayer days. Usually I break it up. So if I'm going to be doing multiplayer gameplay, it's like half of a, sh of a, of a day or whatever. Um, but today's kind of special because today is Black Friday, 2021. <clears throat> and as you know, today is the craziest retail shopping day of the year. All the stores traditionally have the best deals today. Although admittedly, many, many stores are doing Black Friday deals all week now in an attempt to not get people to crowd the stores on Friday because they don't want people to get sick with COVID, which is a good thing. In fact, earlier this week, my wife and I had a day off together on Wednesday and we ended up going to get a few de Christmas decorations for the house. And it was Black Friday prices. Everything in the stores was like 50 to 80% off. So here you are, normally something that would cost a ridiculous amount of money. You're getting it for like dirt cheap. You're like, wow, that's great. And, and by the way, the stores weren't even crowded on Wednesday. They were half empty because most people were preparing for Thanksgiving. So it was like you get the best prices and you don't have to be there when it's the busiest, right? Pretty crazy. Um, So... Today, people are going to be out shopping in droves, even though likely you're getting the same deals you could have gotten any other day. I don't know why people do this, but I guess they're just uneducated. What else can I say? Um, and because of this, <clears throat> it'll be crazy. It'll be a madhouse out there. Traffic will be nuts. D drivers will be, you know, acting like the roads don't exist, just plowing through people, flying off into and driving into your front living room. You're sitting there having a nice drink, relaxing, you know, a little, a little, uh, you know, a nice rare vintage in your hand. You're like, you're airing your wine. And you turn, all of a sudden, a giant pickup truck comes careening through your living room. Because it's Black Friday. You just got to get used to this. How many times have you repaired that wall, right? It's ridiculous. So, because this is happening, all right, my wife works retail. <sighs> On Black Friday. <sighs> okay? I've been there. It's a nightmare. The worst part about working retail on Black Friday is that... Your job expects you to be able to get there and, like, find a parking spot and, like, be normal like it's a normal work day. It's not. It's not. There's insane amounts of people out there. It's ridiculous, okay? And they're, they're all nut jobs, too. It's not normal people. These are people who are hopped up on Thanksgiving dinner and all kinds of shit. You know, they fucking injected gravy into their veins, and now they're going to start driving to try to go fucking get a TV or something. They're nuts. So, anyway, the reason that I'm, I'm bringing this up... Because normally I wouldn't be doing a full multiplayer day like I'm doing today. But, since my wife has to work this afternoon, I told her I would help her by driving her and dropping her off at work. And then later on tonight when she gets out of work by picking her up. This way, you don't have to deal with the traffic. You don't have to deal with finding a parking space to get in. I can just drive up, drop her off, whoop, out of there, and then come back later to pick her up. That's going to save a tremendous amount of time and stress. Okay? <clears throat> so, that's the deal. Now... If she works this afternoon, wait a minute, Phil, you're on stream right now. What, what are you talking about? Well, here's what we're going to do. We're doing a nice, normal pre-stream. In fact, today's pre-stream will be special. I get to talk about what we did for Thanksgiving last night, which will be actually really fun because we did some good stuff, some fun stuff. I'm going to talk about our meal and everything and how it went. Um, and then <clears throat> I'm going to play some Halo Infinite multiplayer. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm excited for this because, as I've told you guys, I just have not had a chance to play enough of Halo Infinite multiplayer. I just haven't. I want to play more. I played it on launch day, and then I played it last weekend, 
And now it's been another week and I haven't touched it. And this is what happens when you're a variety content creator is that you don't really get to just focus in on one thing, especially when you're in the midst of 400 other projects like I am. I'm in the midst of GTA. I'm in the midst of Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm trying to finish those to start Metroid Dread. We get the ongoing playthroughs of Lost, Pro, uh, Lost Judgment and Forza Horizon 5. So with all that going on, it's hard for me to just focus in on, oh, I just want to play Halo multiplayer. Well, play it once a week, right? So here's what we're doing. Today it's Halo Infinite Multiplayer. Once we finish pre-stream, I'm going to jump in and play it for a bit. Roughly between like, at some time between 12.30 and 1 p.m. Pacific time, I'm going to say, okay guys, it's time for our break. Now I know that's going to be weird. Maybe I'll only get like one or two matches in a Halo before we go on break, but that's, I just got to do that today, okay? Then I'm going to be driving my wife to work, okay? And uh, coming back. And whenever I come back, I'm going to jump right back into stream. All right, so it depends. I don't know how, how bad the traffic will actually be out there. Um, we got to see. But I'm going to go and come back. And then when I get back, it's right back into Halo. So there will be a long break, probably longer than usual, because likely it'll take me longer than, say, 20 minutes to drive there and back. It's going to take a while with all the traffic and crazy people out there today. <clears throat> okay. So then when I'm back, nonstop Halo Infinite multiplayer to, like, maybe 4, 430. I might go a little longer, because especially if I'm stuck out there in traffic... I may go a little longer on the stream to make up for it, okay? So that'll be the first stream, Halo Infinite Multiplayer. What I'm really hoping for today, what's my goal? To learn more about the stuff I don't know. For example, some of these weapons, I've only picked them up a few times. I don't really understand how they work yet. And I need to learn the ins and outs of all the weapons in the game, which I don't know yet. Okay, that's number one. Number two, the maps. Some of these maps, I feel like I know better. And other maps, I, I, I just don't know at all. Um... I think there's one map I literally only played on it once. <laughs> okay? So I need to play the map some more. Having a major session um, of this game, hopefully, will allow me to learn it better and, and get a little better at it. I fully expect I will have my ass handed to me all day long. At the very same time, it is Black Friday, meaning a lot of people are home from school or work, and there may be people jumping into it for the first time, and maybe it'll be an opportunity to actually do a little better because they'll have a bunch of scrubs playing. Okay, so, that being said, let's see how it goes. I'm very curious to see how today will go in Halo Infinite Multiplayer, okay? Then I'll have my dinner break, and for dinner I'm having a nice leftovers from Thanksgiving. Mmm, I can't wait. It's the best part about Thanksgiving is not only do you get to eat amazing food, but usually you have tons of leftovers, you can eat it for a few more days. So that's cool. Then tonight, the late stream tonight, will be my throwback Street Fighter session for the week. It's always a great time. Hopefully we'll have more challengers tonight because, again, it is Black Friday. A lot of people home from school and work and opportunity maybe to play some more people. I don't know. I guess we'll see um, tonight how that goes. <clears throat> so that'll be exciting. That's 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. Always a great time. Tomorrow, I will return back to my regular narrative-based progress in games. It'll be the continuation of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the first stream as we head into the end game. I don't think we'll beat it tomorrow, but we might get pretty far depending on how it goes, okay? I still got to do the Vigilante missions. I need some advice on how to do that because I was trying to do it yesterday. couldn't figure it out. Um, and we got to do the rest of the Lost Venturas missions before we get into the end game. So probably two more streams, I'm thinking, before we wrap it up, but we'll see how it goes tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow night, Saturday night, we'll be lost judgment on the late stream excited because now we finally got all the play pass vouchers we needed to do the vr game as much as we want to grind for money which means essentially i can do whatever i want in the game now buy whatever i need and just continue on with all the side content and get it all done so i'm excited for that tomorrow should be a fun time then on sunday the conclusion of guardians of the galaxy for sure like there's about two to two and a half hours left in the game there's no way i'm not beating it if we do beat it and get some extra time, I'll probably switch over and do a little bit of Halo Infinite on that stream. But I'm excited to see how it all ends. One of my favorite games of the year. I hope you will join me for that. Sunday night, continuation of Forza Horizon 5, where I'll be driving around in a ridiculous 1957 BMW with only three wheels. It, I can't believe they even consider this thing a car. Um, it'll be interesting, to say the least. A nice, chill stream. On Monday, the likely conclusion of San Andreas and the beginning of a new GTA game. Now, last night, I put up a poll on my King of Hate, excuse me, not my King of Hate, I also have my KingofHate.com forums. I put up a poll right here on DSP Gaming is what I meant to say. Um, and that poll is as follows. I'm trying to load it on my phone, okay? 
I'm going to finish up Grand Theft Auto San Andreas over the weekend. Which game would you want to see me play next in the trilogy? Would it be Grand Theft Auto 3 or Vice City? A 30% to 70% split. Everyone wants to see me play Vice City. <clears throat> so, I'm not shocked. I'll be honest with you. I'm not shocked. I figured that was the response I was going to get when I finally did the formal poll. Um, over a thousand people voted already. I'm sure more people will be voting over the next day. But as long as things don't completely flip, which I'm not foreseeing, it looks like we're starting up Vice City right after I finish San Andreas, probably Monday. Okay? Monday night is going to be more Halo Infinite multiplayer. So I get actually two sessions of it in one week. Holy shit, who would have thunk it that I might actually make some progress in the game because I'll play it twice. And then, <clears throat> on Tuesday... The big premiere, Metroid Dread. The game you guys have been waiting for fervently <clears throat> ever since it came out in October. And you said, where is Metroid Dread? Why aren't you playing Metroid Dread? All right? I couldn't even... I can't believe how many people... Like, I'm serious. Like, I the other day, I went to get food. <clears throat> and I drove up to the drive through window. All right? And I went to order. I turned like this. And I said, yes, hello. I would like a... And they said, Phil, when are you going to play Metroid Dread? I said, what? Huh? Last night, I was taking a shower. All right? I was washing my disgusting body. And as I'm taking a shower, I start hearing this reverberation in the wall. Oh, what is that? I was like, I put my ear up to, to, the, to the shower head, and it starts to shake, and it goes... What do you play, Metroid Dread? Ah! So anyway... I'm playing Metroid Dread. My house must be haunted. I'm playing Metroid Dread on Tuesday. Hopefully. If everything goes according to plan and no monkey wrenches get thrown into my schedule or whatever, Metroid Dread should start on Tuesday. Okay? And I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. They're excited for this. I'm curious to see how it performs because as I've told you guys many, 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 many times, every time in the 13 years I've been a content creator that I try to play a Metroid game or a Castlevania game or a Metroidvania game, it doesn't do well. Maybe people show up for the very first stream, but that's it. After that, it just it falls flat. Everyone complains, it's boring. It's, you know, it's not. It, well, it's probably fun to play, but not to watch. And I'm like, geez, I do my best. I, I always try to entertain you. You know, we have fun conversation. We make jokes. We try to make it entertaining, but people still complain and then they stop watching. So I hope that's not the case with Metroid Dread, especially because it's not a super long game. Hopefully, we can beat it within like a one to two weeks. Okay. All right. So that's the deal. For this week. Oh, by the way, and then Tuesday night is probably more Lost Judgment. That's the deal for this week. Wednesday's my day off this week for streaming. Okay? Just so you guys know, that's the deal going on for this next week. Now, I want to talk about my Thanksgiving, but before I get there, basically there's two quick things I want to talk about. Number one, you may notice some stuff. If you weren't here yesterday, well, a lot of people were not here yesterday, admittedly. Oh, this is cool right here. A lot of people were not here yesterday. Why? Because it was Thanksgiving. A lot of people were celebrating the holiday for themselves, and, uh, you know, what are they going to do? They're going to be here on a holiday to watch me stream? Not really. I didn't think, I, quite frankly, I was shocked with the amount of people who were here yesterday. I thought there would be less, and there's actually quite a lot of people here on stream yesterday, but not as many as usual for a San Andreas stream, and that was not surprising, okay? But as you can see, my holiday festivities began a day early. Usually I do them around Black Friday. I got them to go started yesterday on Thanksgiving. We got all kinds of cool decorations behind me, including the addition of a new penguin. I don't know what we're going to name him. He's right here. He's a very cute little penguin. <clears throat> um, the return of Cookie, as well as Chestnut, to the mix. And also, what I did, I zoomed my webcam out a tiny bit, and I focused it a little bit. So now, I should look ever so a little bit more, like, sharp. Not a ton more, because the webcam's not good. This is a webcam that's over 10 years old. I'm not going to get, like, high-quality stuff here, okay? But, definitely should look a tiny bit better. And the framing is a little bit better to see all the decorations and things behind me because I did zoom it out a little bit, okay? Thank you. Eternal Lapom says the, the decorations look nice. I appreciate that. And Battle Duck, by the way, you've been saying some funny stuff. Just I've been in the middle of talking, so I haven't responded to what you're saying. <laughs> I read a few of your things here. Um, <clears throat> he said he said a cat was going to go to work in full riot gear today. And then he also said maybe that was the fan living in my ceiling. He was shaking my pipes, asking for Metroid Dread. So there you go. Thank you, Habib. He also likes the decorations. So, number one, ah, sand in my eye. Number one, new decorations. Number two, new overlay. If you weren't here yesterday, you haven't seen it yet, but my camera has a new overlay for the holidays. 
that actually we it was tweaked live during the San Andreas stream because I was streaming San Andreas and people liked the overlay but were like that's ah, a little intrusive so the person who designed it was watching the stream and redesigned it during the break and then came back and it looked even better so now that we're gonna have this cool holiday overlay for my webcam and holiday themed animations for all contributions I should say most contributions during the holidays what it is is I've added four new tip animations and three new super chat animations so here's how it works if you tip five dollars or more there's one animation ten dollars or more there's a new another new one twenty dollars or more there's another new one and then a hundred dollars or more there's the final one that's tips now the four dollar twenty cent animation and the six dollar sixty six cent animation stay the same because those are specific to a certain amount and the fifty dollar animation i kept the same as well why because when you tip 50 bucks, we immediately unlock the Gunner Glasses. And I wanted to keep that as saying, oh, you've unlocked the Gunner Glasses. So I left that one. Okay? So, pretty cool. And, uh... Oh, my nose. So that being said, <clears throat> um... I hope you guys would enjoy those. Now, also, there's new, uh, animations for Super Chats. If you do a $5 or greater Super Chat... $10 or greater super chat or $20 or greater super chat. There's new animations for those as well. All right. So over the next month, month and a half, because essentially I will keep these uh, up until I take down my Christmas decorations, which usually I do around early January. Um, usually I wait till I do like my game of the year awards. And then once that's done, that's usually when I take the stuff down. And by the way, the good news is we have other stuff. The stuff that I had up for November, you guys seem to like. So I'll probably bring that stuff back. We'll always have some nice, nice stuff for the office uh, for the foreseeable future rather than just having it empty behind me. Okay, so that's good. Uh, but anyway, I'm excited for these animations. You guys seem to like them yesterday. The only one we haven't seen so far, I mean, some of them we only saw like once. Uh, it's rare when we get big super chats. Like, usually if we get a super chat, it's like a couple bucks. So you're always going to see the default the, the animation, usually. It's, the bigger super chats almost never come in. Same thing with tips. Very rare when you see it, like a $100 tip, like almost never. So I don't even know how often, if we even see that $100 animation more than just a couple times, maybe over the course of the next month. Right? So I guess we'll see. <clears throat> but they're new. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be celebrating the holidays with you guys and doing festive stuff. As you know, I love Christmas. It's my favorite time of year. Um, we, we went into the swing of things last night for our Thanksgiving celebration. We started doing Christmassy stuff, which I'll talk about in a second. Which I was very excited to do. Um, and I love sharing this time of the year with you guys. I want to hear all about all the stuff you're doing with your your families, your traditions. So I'm going to ask like, what kind of food you had for Thanksgiving. Did you put up any decorations? I'm, I love this. This is the best time of the year. It is. It's the best time. For those who say it's not, we'll buy a humbug to you too. You know? Listen, I love this time of year. And listen, I totally understand if there's a reason why you don't like Christmas. Maybe you have a bad memory or bad association with the holiday. Uh, maybe for some odd reason right now things just aren't going your way. and You have no one to really celebrate it with. I've been there, done that. Seriously, I've been in that position too. But don't, what do they say? Uh, don't be a stick in the mud, right? Don't bring down everyone else around you. A lot of us like Christmas because it's the one time of year where we get to be festive. Uh, the rest of the year, shit. <laughs> we want to be festive, right? So let's be festive. Okay. Very nice. Okay. <clears throat> So, my friends, um, I'm excited. Let's talk. First of all, I want to blow my nose really quickly and then because it's bothering me. And then I want to talk about my Thanksgiving. I want to hear about yours. Okay? Let me blow my nose quick because it's really it's pissing me off. Sorry. I was blowing my nose. Giant turkey rolled into my room. I had to tackle, beat the shit out of it, throw it out the window. <clears throat> okay. So, let's talk Thanksgiving, my friends. As you know, I was here for the first half of the day streaming San Andreas. It was fun. We made good progress and uh, looking forward to more of it. I know the next two sessions likely will be the end game stuff and wrapping it up and uh, moving on to Vice City, which a lot of people have been waiting for and wanted to see me play Vice City to begin with. So, that's cool. So, what happened? After I finished streaming, I uploaded, 
Got everything set up for you guys. I ran downstairs to enjoy a delicious Thanksgiving feast. The only problem was McDonald's is out of pickles, so all the burgers that we got had no pickles, and that's very disappointing when you have a sack of McDonald's, you know, cheeseburgers and McChicken sandwiches, and you can't have any pickles. That's just disappointing. Yeah, right. Uh, all the only thing I want to say is I feel very bad to those who actually have to do shit like that, like people who don't cook for whatever reason. I don't know why you wouldn't, because it's cheaper to cook than to fucking buy McDonald's anyway. But there's some people who literally like go to McDonald's or like order a pizza for Thanksgiving. And I'm like. Oh, boy, how could you do that? Anyway, <clears throat> so, went down there, and everything was ready to be served. My wife had, had gotten everything cooked and put it all on our, our countertop. She was like, it's all ready. Let's do it. Let's divvy it out. All right. So, we have the turkey roulade, which is a ginormous, like this big, stuffed turkey breast, stuffed with cranberries, apples, stuffing, and almonds. Okay, and also on the outside of the turkey breast has this like almost like a Cajun seasoning on it. All right, so you cut it, you slice it into slices, and it's cool because it's like a ring of meat with stuffing inside in a circle. It's like a jelly roll of meat. <laughs> it's crazy. So you get a couple slices of that stuffing, stove, just stovetop stuffing. When you have this much food, you don't need to fucking make some fancy ass stuffing. It's stovetop stuffing. Oh, my wife had made homemade sweet potato mashed potatoes. She had never done this before for for me. Um. They were amazing, full of flavor, delicious, you know, brown sugar as well as cinnamon, um, perfect consistency, you know, really well done, and we got a ridiculous amount of leftovers, so, now, my parents had bought us that turkey roulade and two sides it came with, the sides it came with was, there was this, ma it's mac and cheese, but it's not traditional mac and cheese the way you're thinking, it's shells, okay, which is fine, shell mac and cheese is still good, but the cheese was very odd to me. Like, the cheese was not cheddar, it was not American, it was like some kind of a Swiss with something else. It was like multiple kinds of cheeses, but definitely Swiss was in there because I tasted Swiss cheese. And then it had all these herbs and things on top of it that you mixed in. Now, it's not bad, it's just different. And for me, like, I'm thinking traditional mac and cheese, man, you know? Like, give me, like, American or cheddar cheese and give me a bunch of cheese with it and that flavor. You didn't really get that, it tasted very different. Um, which, I again, I didn't dislike it. Just to me, it was kind of like weird. It, just, it felt out of place for an American dinner. You know what I'm saying? Like that's something you would get as a side in like a French dish or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it wouldn't be something normal you would get. Um, And then uh, the other side was ma regular mashed potatoes. But they were creme brulee mashed potatoes. I guess because they had blended in cream and other dairy ingredients to it. Honestly, they were like normal mashed potatoes to me. But they had a lot of seasoning in them. So it was pretty good. It wasn't, again, it wasn't the best mashed potatoes I've ever had, but also it wasn't bad. It was decent. So, you know, I had that in. Put that on there. Uh, jellied cranberry sauce. Pretty standard. Whatever you buy at the grocery store, you go, that's on there. Um, was there anything else? I'm trying to think. Was there anything else in the main dish besides rolls? And I'm thinking, no. We had, we had these little Hawaiian rolls. You put some butter on. Um, and then, of course, um... Then, of course, gravy, okay? Gravy on the tur turkey, gravy on the stuffing, okay? Mmm, you always got to add gravy, right? Okay. How many dishes included raisins? Zero. No raisins. Cranberries, but no raisins. Okay. So, anyway, amazing. I mean, I, you, you can't fit all this on one dish. You had two different plates, okay, to fit all the food. And so, we sit down to eat. We're eating it all. And I'm like, man, turkey's amazing. That's why we get it every year. I love that turkey. <clears throat> you know, the two, the, the, like I said, the shells, the mashed potatoes were okay. The, the sweet potato mashed potatoes were one of my favorite things. My wife had made them, and they were, like, amazing. Um, and the stuff, you know, I'm, I'm actually a stuffing guy. Like, I love stuffing. I love stovetop stuffing, but I also love homemade stuffing. My parents used to make homemade stuffing. What they would do is take the innards of the turkey, chop them up, cook them, and then toss them into the stuffing and stuff the bird with it, with its own innards in the stuffing. I like that too. So I like all stuffing, but in this case, just stovetop stuffing was fat. It was quick and fast. It was fine for the amount of cooking my wife was already doing. Uh, so yeah, it was it was really good. Eating everything, I'm like, oh, this is so good. So, you, you know, as anything with an American dinner like this, you got to pace yourself, right? So you have a little bit of each thing. Eat, 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 eat. Oh, have a roll. Oh, have a roll. Eat, eat, and a roll, and a home. So you're going in a circle. And all the piles are depleting. Finally, I'm like, I can't finish. 
And my wife's saying this. She's like, I can't finish this either. So much food. And the good news is we have ridiculous amounts of leftovers. Like at least two meals worth. So today I'm having that for dinner. And tomorrow I'm having that for dinner too. There's, it's just so much left that there's no reason to make it go to waste. You got to just eat it back to back to back. And it's, it's funny. I saw this article um, online talking about Thanksgiving leftovers. And it said as long as you refrigerate them properly, meaning you put them in airtight containers. Like we have Tupperware containers, right? Airtight containers, you put them in your fridge, they can last till Monday. So I'm eating it today and tomorrow. We'll be good. It'll be gone by Monday. So we're safe and sound there. No worries about, uh, you know, getting sick from eating the leftovers or anything like that. Um, that's a good thing, right? I'm, I'm very excited for more of that for dinner today, okay? But then, so we're finishing up and we're stuffed. We're like, oh my God, that was so good. It was so effing good. And I was like, wait a minute, no, disaster. And catch up. So she's like, what happened? What's wrong? I said, we didn't eat the pumpkin pie. And she said, oh, don't worry about that. We can eat that later. To we'll wait. We'll digest a bit. And we'll eat that later tonight. I said, no. I said, we got to eat the pumpkin pie now. We, nothing, we cannot wait. And she's like, no, we got to wait. There's no way. If you eat now, you're going to get sick. That's stupid. I said, no, we're eating now. And she says, no. I said, okay, I'll stop. So then we just put it, we had to put away all the food, of course, clean the kitchen, took a while. And then after we were so full, went to the living room and sat down on the couch and we turned on some relaxing Christmas music. So I strongly recommend if you're someone who doesn't necessarily want to hear all the lyrics of traditional Christmas carols, but you like the vibe, there's a lot of things you can do. You can find jazzy Christmas music, chill Christmas music. Basically, it's a lot of instrumental versions of your favorite songs that are way more relaxing. I definitely re re recommend this, okay? Um... So we had that playing in the in the living room, and we sit down, and within like five minutes, we had fallen asleep. <laughs> five minutes, we were like, oh man, this is that. That was a really good meal. Yeah, I wonder if that pumpkin pie will be good. Yeah, I think later we're gonna. Hey, wow, damn. Okay, just pass the fuck out. Hello, fan of Lowcraft. Good to see you here today. <clears throat> so. We pass. We woke up. I'm not even kidding. It was like an hour and a half, two hours later. I don't know exactly. We woke up. We're like, oh my god, god damn, that hit us so hard. And the cool thing is, Jasper loves to relax with us too. He, we, we, I've told you, he's like a, a very social cat. He's termed a mojito kitty, meaning he always wants to be doing whatever the humans are doing. He wants to be the life of the party. So as soon as we sit down on the couch to relax, he's out too. He goes right to sleep in the corner of the couch. Okay. Dark Magus says we had turkey brisket. Brisket. Two kinds of mac and cheese. Sweet corn. Mmm, sweet corn. That's something I wish we had. Stuffing. Green beans. Green beans are good, too. I actually really like green beans. A cold pasta dish. Cornbread. Cornbread's amazing. Banana bread. Banana bread's amazing. Pecan pie. You know, I don't think I've ever had pecan pie. I've heard a lot of good things about it, but I've never eaten it myself. This is way too much food. That sounds like... That, that doesn't sound like way too much food. That sounds like just enough, man. That sounds good to me. <laughs> that sounds absolutely delicious. That sounds like a great spread. All right, so thank you for sharing, Dark Maggot. So, we wake up from being passed out, and we're like, so what do we want to do? We should, what, we should do something holiday-themed. And by the way, we've been washing clothes, so it was like, we got a bunch of clothes to fold. We could watch something while we fold clothes together and, you know, get some chores done while we're actually doing something here in the living room. So, Kat says, let's look, let, let's look for holiday stuff, <clears throat> you know, in our on-demand shows or whatever, and we're searching for holiday, holiday. And we get... Mr. Bean's Holiday. And we're like, oh, it's a Christmas movie from Mr. Bean? I didn't even know he did that. We start watching it, and we're like 20 minutes in, we realize this isn't a Christmas movie. <laughs> like, shit, I mean, it's Mr. Bean. It's funny, but it's not a Christmas movie. We're like, ah, oh, man. All right, so what else should we do? So we search again, and we get, ah, a Christmas Carol. Which version? It's the Jim Carrey 3D animated version from, like, the late 2000s. This was the one that they try it was heavily heavily marketed 3d i remember when this was in theaters they were like christmas carol 3d okay <clears throat> now what's weird about this movie neither of us had seen it okay and we and we start watching it and we realize i think this may be made by the same people who made the polar express now don't quote me on that because i don't know if it's true but it seems like it has the same kind of vibe like, a lot of the, the mocap and animation seem to be similar to how they did in the Polar Express. And it has a lot of the writing kind of style of the Polar Express when it comes to, like, some of the, 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 the delivery, the jokes and stuff in it. Um, 
So we're starting to watch it. And it's actually quite good, all right? Until about, I'd say about three quarters of the way in. And that's about when they decided to take some artistic liberties. <laughs> like, let me tell you guys something, all right? Definitely what, what changed Ebenezer inside, right? What changed his attitude on life was when he decided to go surfing across the rooftops of London on a giant icicle, right? That's, that was the key moment. Or maybe it was when he was shrunken down to the size of a mouse and chased through the streets of London by two demon horses. Remember that classic scene from the Charles Dickens, uh, you know, piece of, of, uh, of writing? Of course, right? Like, we're watching this and we're like, why is it that every time that they do, uh, why is it every single time that they do something like this? They have to take crazy liberties with it. Right? They have to go like absolutely nuts over the top with it. Because they do. They absolutely do. They go nuts. They go over the top with it. I don't know why, um, but they do. Um, and they always have to do something ridiculous. So they had to add in these scenes, these ridiculous scenes. <laughs> I don't know. By the way, so Ben Cooper says, when I go to tip, I get a 404. And I'm looking right now, and it seems like you're right. I clicked on the link, and it's not loading for me. Uh, however, I just got a tip from Rob 15 minutes ago. So it sounds to me like it just went down. Like there's a stream elements issue. Um, because Rob just hit me, well, now 19 minutes ago, and it was working. <clears throat> and now it seems like the link died. I don't know what's going on. Um, I certainly doubt that anything negative happened to me in regards to stream elements in the last 15 minutes uh, on Black Friday. I really doubt that. So I'm not sure what happened. Now, Rob, I got a question for you. I don't know if you can answer it live for us here. Did you tip just using the standard tips link? Or do you have a, a special link that you use to tip? Because it's weird that it's just endlessly loading for me. It won't, won't come up at all. Like, Oh, wait, never mind. It just came up. Yeah, never mind. It, it was a temporary thing. It works now. There you go. Never mind. Crisis averted. Ben, ben Cooper, you were correct. It was not working there for about a minute, and now it seems to be working again. So you're good. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Isn't it weird how they always take these crazy artistic liberties with, like, Christmas classics? You know, it's like, why did you have to go so crazy? <laughs> right? They always, they always do. I don't know. But anyway, the movie was entertaining. Like, we we liked it a lot. A little, a little on the creepier side. Like, I would say for, for different interpretations of A Christmas Carol, this one had some scary-ass scenes. Like, a kid, a little kid watching this might actually be legitimate um, scared at it because it seemed like, like some of the scenes were very geared towards horror. But then again, if you read the Charles Dickens classic, it's horror. Like, literally, A Christmas Carol is a horror story. It's, there, it's not meant to be a happy story. It's meant to be Ebenezer got the shit scared out of him to the point where he realized, man, am I, I, I got to stop being an ignorant bastard and start doing nice things. So, so anyway, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a good movie. I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, and then after that, we, like I said, we were doing chores. We were folding clothes and doing stuff while we watched it. And then after that, um, it was getting late. And we're like, what else do we want to do? And... Cat was like, let's listen to some music. I said, okay, Christmas music. She's like, nah, we already listened to Christmas music. So she turns on uh, this group. She says it's a group that she's been listening to uh, recently, like on YouTube and stuff, that they do music videos. It's an acapella group. I was like, oh, well, acapella's cool. Let's listen to some acapella music. So we listened to, they sang the song from the movie uh, Zootopia. What's that song? Uh, I want to try everything or whatever. Thing. I want to try everything and I'll fail at all of it. And I'll suck and I will cry myself to sleep. No, that's not the lyrics, but that they sang that song. And then all of a sudden they sang a song. It was like a country song. I was like, oh, actually they sound really good as a country group. Like I actually think they sound genuinely good at, with, with the drawl. You know, you had that accent, the drawl, the country drawl. And then another another song played, and it was um, another country song. And another song played, and it was another country song. And another, I was like, I think this is a country group. And Kat's like, no, they're not a country group. They just sing a lot of country music. I think they're a country group. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know. I don't know who they were. We we're just listening to random that. And then after that, I was like, all right, I got to use the bathroom. You know, 
And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll have our, our pie, our pumpkin pie. So I did. I went to use the bathroom. Came back. We got pumpkin pie. All right. So we each had a nice slice of pie. I had Ready Whip. I bought Ready Whip. I put it on top of the pie. This is because it had been hours now since dinner, like three, four hours. So like, oh, we're good. We should be good, right? So we each have a nice piece of pumpkin pie. The pumpkin pie was outstanding. It was very soft. You know, sometimes you get pumpkin pie and it ends up being way too thick or dense. And it tastes like you're just eating pumpkin filling right out of the can. This didn't taste like this. It tasted like it had aeration in it, like they had whipped it. So it was a lighter filling and it was easier to eat and not super heavy. So we're like, oh, this is really good, man. This is like good pumpkin pie. And we were sitting there. And as we're sitting there, we're both like, oh, hmm. Oh. We re both realized that basically we had not really fully digested from dinner. We both had stomach aches from... <laughs> from eating this pumpkin pie after having eaten that giant dinner, even though it had been, like, you know, hours later. You're like, oh, my stomach. So we usually eat Tums because we were both dying on the couch. Like, oh, God, we really don't feel good now. We ate, <laughs> we ate some pumpkin pie, um, and it didn't go so well. And then, you know, to end the night, a nice relaxing conclusion to the evening, we listened to some Indian music. I'm not kidding. It was, like, Bollywood music. <laughs> and that was our, that was our rela relaxing... Uh, a relaxing Thanksgiving night. Nothing crazy to talk about, you know, in regards to, oh, they did zany stuff or anything. But, you know, just relaxing and doing some stuff, having time to spend together, watching a movie together, you know, was nice, very nice. We don't get a lot of extended time like that together. We just don't. When we have days off, typically, we're out most of the day. By the time we get home, we're beat, we're tired. We don't have time to just relax and do nothing. So it was actually nice to just sit there and kind of, you know, relax and have a good time. So, it was a good day. It was a good day. And like I said, I'm looking forward to having leftovers today and tomorrow because the food is so good and with so much left, it's going to be very, very good. So, I'm curious. I would like to hear from you guys, um, you know, what you did during Thanksgiving. What were some of your spreads? What kind of stuff did you do? Did you decorate? Did you watch anything Christmassy or whatever? <clears throat> um, no, Zebra, I've explained this many times. I'll explain it again. When I'm not on stream, I'm not playing video games, all right? The only video games that I will partake in is if my wife is playing a game. Like, for example, she's currently playing Far Cry 5. And if she gets stuck on a part or she's just tired, she's like, I just want to get through this part so I can save and end for the night. I'll say, all right, hand me the control. I'll just, I'll try to beat it quick, you know, so we fucking get through this. And, you know, so, no, we didn't do any gaming yesterday. We do, when, I, when I'm off stream, I don't want to be gaming. You know what I mean? Like, my whole job is gaming. And, by the way, I absolutely love gaming. It's not that... I dislike gaming. I mean, come on. It's my job. It's my hobby. It's something I've done my whole life. But when you do it so much, when I'm in this office doing these, uh, doing games so often, you know, I get to the point where it's like, I need a break. I don't want to be doing gaming when I'm away. Oh, look at this. A new animation. Thank you very much to Kajiri for that large super chat, which I will read out later. <laughs> Marv getting clobbered in the face with an iron, only it's not Marv. It's me. I was breaking into the house. Very nice. Chris B says, I worked at AMC Theaters in New York City 311 and met James Franco. Okay. Don't know what that's to do today, but cool. Hopefully he was a nice guy. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Team Ico Gamer. Dark Maggot says, my cousins were watching the movie White Chicks for some reason. Oh, the, the holiday tradition, White Chicks. Everyone knows, you know... You pull, you pull out the stuffing, the gravy, and white chicks. Every, you know, every year you got to watch that. Awesome. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Your boy Lim says, I didn't even have a Thanksgiving meal. My family wanted to have poop for Thanksgiving. I'm not eating anything around that smell. What? I, no, that was not funny. It was disgusting. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> Chris B says, you asked what we did on Thanksgiving. You didn't say that. You said 311. What is 311? That's not Thanksgiving. Anyway. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, that was my Thanksgiving. I hope... Ah! Did you hear that? My neck cracked. I hope that you guys 
whether you live in the United States or not, first of all, I hope you had a good day away from, from my streams because the night, you know, I know usually I would do a full day of streaming and I didn't, okay? Whatever you did last night, I hope you had a relaxing night. If you live in the United States, I hope that you guys um, had a great time uh, with your, your families um, and uh, enjoyed yourselves. I hope you didn't have to work. A lot of people have to work on Thanksgiving. That's shit. That is total shit. It's a national fucking holiday. Why do they make people work? Stupid. I hate that shit. So hopefully you didn't have to work. Hopefully you had a good meal at home with your family. And now, of course, everyone's back to work today, which is why I'm driving my wife to, to work and why it's such a terrible day out there. <clears throat> okay. Oh, Chris B says he worked 3 to 11. Oh, you see it? I didn't know what you meant. <laughs> you meant James Franco, huh? Why was James Franco at a movie theater on Thanksgiving Day in New York City? Watching himself. <laughs> I always go to the theater on Thanksgiving. I watch myself. I'm very full of myself in that way, where I like to, you know. <laughs> G. Michael Gamer, thank you very much. As you can see, a ginormous tip just came in. And I'll read that out in a second when we get the shout outs. Now, that animation has not changed. Like I said, the $50 animation, because it earns the Gunner glasses, I decided not to change that one, because it wouldn't make sense to do so, right? <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um. Yo, Guts, Vice City is definitely going to win that poll. Like I said, Guts, I did this poll last night for what the next GTA game is going to be. Unless there's like a dramatic flip, which I don't I don't see that happening. I think it's going to end up being Vice City we start on Monday. Okay? I really don't see how it could change. <clears throat> okay. All right. Um. <clears throat> so that's that for that. I'm just trying to think. Is there anything else I would like to talk about? Before we get to shout outs. And what I would say is the one major thing. Is right here. Ladies and gentlemen. We have four days left. Four days left. In the month of November. 3D. Like the, like the, like the, the Christmas Carol movie. I'm filming this pre-stream in 3D. Oh my god. Four days left. Okay. Until the end of November. That means there's... Four days left to hit the Tier 2 member's goal for the month of November. What happens if we hit the Tier 2 goal for the month of November? Well, what will happen is two rewards will be unlocked. The first tiered reward is that you will get to watch me eat during the Christmas event. It will be a feasting with the king. You guys will be voting on a cuisine that I will be trying out live on stream here for you guys <clears throat> on the Christmas Marathon event, which is coming up that week before Christmas. I already looked into it. I think it's like either, I think Wednesday or Thursday would be like, I think it's a couple days before Christmas, whatever that is, probably the, probably the day before Christmas Eve. Because on Christmas Eve, a lot of people get wrapped up in family stuff. I'm like, why don't I do it then like the day before? So that way it gives some extra time for people who want to attend the stream and they're not, oh, I can't come because, you know, I'm doing family stuff, right? Okay. So, um, yes, Feasting with the King. Awesome. I get to eat a full meal with you guys, cuisine that I'm not used to eating. Usually a lot of first-time stuff that I'm trying. You guys love the show. Ever since I started it earlier this year and you want more of it, well, this is more of it. In addition to that, there will also be an episode of DSP Tries It that will be holiday-themed. I'll be going out to local stores here. We actually have a couple stores that have, like, cultural things from all around the world. And I'll be picking out an item to try for a live Christmas-themed episode of DSP tries it, okay? Last year I did mince pies. I didn't even know what they were. And when I ate it, I was like blown away by how good they were, okay? So I'd like to try something different like that this year too. But guys, we've got four days left. We need about 20 members. That's it. Right now, there's over 280 people on the stream, all right? But there's only 300 members. That means that 20 of you who are members are not here. Now, if you look at the chat, you'll see tons of people are not members, okay? How can you tell? Because when you become a member, you get a chat crown badge to show that you're a member. And there's a lot of people that aren't members. Also, you get a highlighted name in chat. And there's a lot of unhighlighted names in this chat right now. You get access to my emotes. You don't have to abide by the slow mode regulations of the chat. You can talk how much you ever you want. You also get priority for special events. For example, I know, guys, I've been busy with the holiday. I haven't actually put up the polls for this yet, or excuse me, the, the nominations for this yet. But you guys will be able to nominate games and later vote on games that I'll be playing during the Christmas Marathon event. Okay? um, That's awesome. 
I hope that you guys will consider um, becoming a member just on that. You get priority for that. Who wouldn't want to be able to be able to have major control over a game I'm going to play during the special Christmas event, right? Ask the King. That's my bi-monthly Q&A show. You get priority to get your question answered on Ask the King. Last time I did it, I answered like something like five or six member questions, and only like 10 members had posted up questions or something, and I, I answered at least half of them. So you get so many good things for being a member. And by the way, it helps the channel immensely. Why does it help the channel immensely? I'll tell you why. Because that's consistent income for me. That's income that generally I can rely on every month coming in that's a base income, rather than saying, oh, I don't know what I'm going to make today on tips, the Super Chat. Instead, it's kind of, you know, a base level that I can depend on. The highest number of members we've ever had is 306. Ladies and gentlemen, let's at least beat that today. Can we get to 307? Can we get three people to become members who aren't members? Come on. We can do it. Let's get the new record today, 307. That's the highest we'll ever have had for this channel. Let's do it. Right now. Right now. T. Michael Gamer just became a standard supporter. <laughs> now, T. Michael Gamer has been a supporter before, so I don't know if this technically is actually one to add to the total or if it's just going to stay the same. I'll have to check. I'll have to check on that. Um, but that went fine. I was like, there we go. <laughs> very nice. Okay, very good. Does it increase the length of the Christmas stream if the goal is met? Yes. Yes, for every new member, one second extension. <laughs> a, yes, you can extend for one second if you become a member right now. <clears throat> Very nice. Okay. T. Michael Gamer, so I had to VPN my way to a membership. So, T. Michael Gamer, are you saying where you live, you can't become a member for some reason? That's fucking weird. In, I, I, in India, I heard India is like ridiculously strict when it comes to online memberships for anything. Like, you have to jump through hoops. First of all, you can't join anything that auto-renews. That's against Indian law to have an auto-renewing subscription. And then on top of that, like, I guess what it is, I guess in India there's a lot of scams or something. And so they've outlawed all this shit to stop people from being scammed. So you can't do like a lot of this stuff. Weird. I mean, so for the two Indian viewers of mine out there, sorry it's so hard to become a member, okay? Okay. <clears throat> all right, anyway. So, guys, that's one of the major things, all right? So seriously. We can definitely hit this in four days. I know we can. And in addition to that, I know we can at least hit the, the record today, 307. We got to hit 307 today. All right? I hope we will. <clears throat> all right? Now, in addition to that, tips, goals. All right? At $50, Gunner Glasses. By the way, we've already hit it. So Gunner Glasses are happening today on this stream. At $100 raised, you guys get to pick a hat for me to wear. And the cool thing is now we have new hats added to the rotation, including the Santa hat and the Punisher beanie, since we've done this a few days ago, the Santa has one every time, which I'm okay with. Hey, it's the holiday season. I'm cool wearing a Santa hat. I'm totally in the festive mood. We'll see what happens if we hit it today, what hat you guys will vote for, because we still got the pilot hat and the cowboy hat in the mix too, okay? Um, and then, if we hit the full tips goal, will be a vest. Now, yesterday you guys voted for the platinum vest, but today I'll hit the for, just to be holly jolly and hit the reset button and be festive. We'll reset everything. So today it will be like the red vest, the platinum vest, the gold vest, the bay, or the uh, denim vest. Those will be the four vests eligible for today. It would be great if we could hit the tips goal today. That would help me a lot, and I appreciate your support, guys. Uh, in any way, whether you tip, whether you do super chat, whether you become a member, it's all good stuff. It's all gravy. Let's do, let's do a nice Thanksgiving pun. It's all gravy. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, let us do shout-outs, okay? Because I do want to start with gameplay sooner rather than later today because, like I said, with, by, within like an hour, I have to take an extra break to take my wife to work. So all I got to do is do quick shout-outs and jump right into the gameplay so that I can get some in before I have to take my break. So shout-outs. We start off with loading. We start off with Monk, who did a two-euro super chat. I said, how are you doing, Phil? I'm doing well. I'm excited for this weekend because I know a lot of people couldn't come to the stream yesterday because it was Thanksgiving. I get the feeling we're going to see attendance go pretty good this weekend. Typically for a holiday weekend, it ends up pretty well. And I'm doing a good variety of stuff with GTA, Conclusion of Guardians, multiplayer games, uh, you know, 
ongoing playthroughs, new games starting Monday and Tuesday. We're going to have two new playthroughs starting up, so I'm excited. It's going to be a good one. Uh, thank you for the support. Uh, Snow Surdo re-upped their membership for three months and says the chat is dead without Snow Carl. No, it is not. In fact, I would argue the chat's much better without Snow Carl. <laughs> oh, well. Tom M. just became a standard supporter. Thank you, Tom M., for joining. What I will do is once we do shout-outs, I'll check and see where we are for members, okay? Maybe we can hit the record today. Monk also did another Euro Super Chat. Thank you so much. Parasolo did a 19 SEK Super Chat, and I don't know what on earth denomination that is, but I still appreciate your Super Chat. Thank you, Parasolo. Kajiri did that Super Chat earlier where we saw the Marv animation here, and he says, you should play Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake MSX games. It was painful watching Final Boss videos of the boss in Metal Gear Solid 3, but it was entertaining. I feel like one day we'll go back to those. It sure would be nice if they would remaster them, for modern consoles with actual, like, 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 improvements. Because, like, they remastered them for PS3. And that's how I played a lot of them originally. But you know what they never did? They never remade Part 1. Part 1, the only remake they ever made was only, like, a couple years later for GameCube. Why they remade it so quick, I have no idea. And then they never touched it ever again. Although, admittedly, <clears throat> I might feel bad if they did remake them. And I bought them because I know Kojima got mistreated by Konami and got the boot, and he's not going to make any money off of those resellings. So maybe I wouldn't buy the remasters, and, and Konami can just go fuck themselves. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. All right, and as we already said, T. Michael Gamer became a member and re-upped their membership, whatever, and Tom M. also just became a member, so thank you guys very much. <clears throat> now, Rob on Wheels started the tipping today with a $5 tip. He says, thank you once again for reminding us through Twitter to be thankful for each and every blessing, no matter how seemingly small. Yeah, and, you know, I said this on Twitter last night, okay? And I want you guys to understand something. I do. I want you to understand something that people who don't like me would literally always say that this is not true and say completely the opposite, and it's bullshit, okay? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy with my life, as imperfect as it is, and I'm incredibly grateful for everything that I have, okay? Today, I have a loving wife, all right, an awesome cat that I consider my family. All right, my wife is incredibly supportive. She's, my, as I say, she's my rock. She's my soulmate. She's the reason why I enjoy life so much every single day when I wake up, and every day I feel is the best day of my life moving forward. I really feel that. Um, and I have a job that I love, a job that I get to come to and hang out with you guys and have a good time every single day. We're enjoying games together. We're chilling. Look at this, we're having a fun conversation. This is great. Who wouldn't like doing this for a job, right? But the thing is, these people out there are so miserable in their own lives that they don't want to believe that. So they say, oh, don't you see? Take a look at Phil from 10 years ago and compare him to Phil of today. He was getting ginormous views, viral popularity on YouTube, and everything he said got a lot of attention. And he had ad revenue out the butt, and he was, had a lot more money back then. So he must have been way more happy back then. And it's really sad to look at Phil today in 2021 compared to Phil of 2011 and to see where how far he's fallen. They say this stuff. They do. They say this dumb shit. How dumb can that be? All right? Let's see. Ten years ago, I was alone living by myself, all right, I had no real goal of any of this that I was doing, I had no family life, nothing, um, you know, was I, did I enjoy hanging out with people and making videos, yes, yes, I did, that, absolutely, I enjoyed, I enjoyed hanging out with my friends and making videos together with them, it was a blast, absolutely, but nothing felt like it had meaning, you know what I'm saying, like, what I did back then was kind of like, I'm just flubbing it. I'm just I'm just making it day to day. I'm just freaking putting out stuff out there that I hope people like. And if they like it, great. And if not, well, I don't even know what to do to, to change that. Um, I knew I was entertaining people, but I didn't necessarily feel like anything that I did mattered. You know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like, cool that I'm popular and I'm making money doing it, but I didn't feel like anything that I did had any kind of uh, real... Uh, how do you explain it? Like, like when I, I feel like I have a legacy, right? That what I've done, the stuff that I've put on the internet, especially the last few years, last five years, I would say, has left a legacy for me out there that people can go back there countless times and watch the stuff that I've pumped out there and say, wow, that's entertaining, that's fun, that's good stuff. You can see who Phil really is by watching his content. 
and that really comes through. Someone who has a passion for games, someone who, you know, likes to have fun. And I feel like what I do today, as unpopular as it is compared to how it used to be 10 years ago, is infinitely more important. I mean that. Like, I feel like what I put out right now is more important to the people watching it now than the people who watched my stuff 10 years ago. Because 10 years ago, it used to be like, well, I'll just go out, watch a Phil video, I'll laugh my ass off at that clown, and then I'll move on. Today, it's like, oh, today's doing a stream. I want to I wanna interact with Phil on his stream, have some fun conversation with him, see what he's up to, hear what he did for Thanksgiving, and then we can laugh playing some games together. It's a different experience. It really is. It's completely different, okay? And, you know, the thing is that what is happiness, right? Is happiness necessarily popularity and, and, and having financial security? Or is it waking up every day and knowing that you're going to have a great day today? Like, you're going to actually have an enjoyable, positive, happy day. Back then, I didn't have that. I'm being honest with you guys. I didn't. A lot of the days back then, it was like I wake up, man, I got to play a bunch of shit games today, and I got to pump out videos today for the internet because I got to keep that work ethic. I got to keep up that grind, right? Tonight, I got to rush to GameStop at midnight to buy a game, come home, film an unboxing, pop the game in the console, play a bunch of fucking gameplay, upload it before I can even go to sleep. I'm tired, but fuck it. I got to get the first person. I got to be the first one to get those videos out. To on the internet. You see what I mean? It was a very different thing to 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 be that. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't necessarily think I was happy. I think I was successful, but I don't think I was happy. And I think there's a lot of people out there that confuse that. Success and happiness. You could be the most successful person on the planet. Sky high popularity. Rich to fuck. But how many times do we hear stories about these people who are rich who are completely depressed and messes in life and falling apart at the seams and they're in fucking therapy and they got all this shit going on? You know what I'm saying? That Just because you're rich and famous doesn't mean you are happy. I am happy. I can tell you guys that. I am so grateful to be here and be happy with my life. And a lot of people cannot say that, that they're happy with life. You know? that's That should really be the end goal in life is to be happy. Not to be rich or successful or whatever. To be happy. And I am happy. You know, I don't, I, you know, I do I have a few complaints about the way that stuff happens. You know, crazy amount of harassment I get. The fact that people are always constantly trying to fuck with my and ruin me. Yeah, that's annoying as fuck. But outside of that, everything else is great. You know? <laughs> so, I have no complaints. Really, like, outside of the nonsense that I have to put, well, put up with, with this crap. I don't have complaints. I, I'm happy with my life. How it is. Um... And so people can't can't accept that. They will believe whatever they want. They'll make shit up and say that I hate my life secretly and I don't tell anyone publicly and feel so unhappy. And the other thing there was, oh, his marriage life is terrible. Just let me tell you, Phil and his wife don't get along. How the fuck would you know any of that? What are you talking about? You're a fucking nut job. Where, where do you even get this from? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there, people are nuts. But anyway, Rob. Right. What I said on Twitter yesterday was, it's crazy because there's people out there who I know, they're rich, they're famous, they're not happy. I am. So I consider that a win. I consider that a success. That my, my life, I am actually happy where I am, who I am, you know, everything I'm doing with my family life, with my, my job, everything. I'm happy. And you guys tell me, you like what me too and you like what I'm doing, you support it, crowdfunding, that's how it works, right? So obviously... It's all good, man. Don't worry, you know, don't listen to the nonsense, the naysayers. Oh, man. What does Phil have to be thankful for? Look at the, the mess his life is. What the fuck are you talking about? My life is great, man. You're just a dick. You're just a negative shithead who doesn't want to believe that because then you would be so upset that your life is so bad you can't believe that someone else, else's life is good just because I'm not Mr. Popular, right? You know, you get some, some fucking real loserish scumbag says stuff like, oh, he's at level one. He's at the bottom of popularity of YouTube. What the fuck? Who cares? Fuck you. I got a great life. You're the miserable wretch who thinks that everything is based off of, of fucking popularity and views and money. You're the loser here, not me. I got a great life. You're the bum. You're the one who has to sit there arguing with people on the internet, causing fucking internet drama constantly because you're a fucking loser with nothing to talk about for yourself. These fucking people are so miserable inside, but they have to, they have to talk about everything else except inside what's inside of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're so upset with their who they are that any time, time they get any kind of a, a criticism or any kind of someone says something about them, they have to lash out, right? 
fucking stupidity, man. Seriously, like, I'm so happy. I, you know, I hope you guys understand that. I love what I do. I love my life. I love being here with you guys every day. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't be happier with how that stuff is going. If the financial stuff could be a little better, if these shitheads would stop attacking me constantly and trying to ruin my life, that would be even better. But, I, you know, I guess you can't have everything, right? <laughs> so thank you, Rob, for, for, for saying that. I appreciate that. And then Rob took me another $2. Said, I have a bookmarked link. I actually heard people who had bookmarked links, they stopped working at some point. That I guess Stream Elements had changed the link or something. I don't know. So I'm actually shocked that your your tip is working, Rob. But I'm happy to hear it is. Okay. Um, Team Ico Gamer. Tip me $50. And let's get the ball rolling early. What are your thoughts on Forza Horizon 5 compared to 4? Uh, interesting question. Um, Personally, obviously the graphics are better. I mean, let's be honest. It's on Xbox Series X. It's running at 60 frames. And it's just in general... It performs a lot better in that regard. As for car selection, I really wouldn't know. I'm not a car guy. I've heard people strongly criticize the game, claiming the car selection isn't nearly as good, but I wouldn't know. Um, as for the events and things out there, it seems pretty equivalent. I would say it's about equivalent to <clears throat> the amount of content and stuff that was offered in Forza Horizon 4. Uh, I guess really it's a matter of preference of location. Like if you lived in the UK... You probably love Forza Horizon 4 because you can drive around and see the real stuff from your country. If you live in Mexico, you probably love Forza Horizon 5. For me, they're kind of equal. I think that's really nice to see the beautiful stuff in either setting that I'm not used to because I don't live in either of these locations. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's funny because some people said that like Forza Horizon 5 is the best one ever. I would say graphically, yes. Outside of that, it feels kind of on par with Forza 4. So, I, you know, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, it's definitely 100% better than the other one. I don't think that's the case. I just think um, I just think that uh, some people, maybe it's the first time they're experiencing it. It's been so many years. It's been three years since a, a Forza game. So now they're flip, flipping out about it. It's definitely one of the best games uh, of the year, though. It is. So, <clears throat> okay. All right. Um, Atlas Telemon. To the dollar fifty and says, "What was your most crazy Black Friday experience?" Um, oh, I've told this story before. All right, so many many years ago, in the two thousands, this is back when Circuit City still existed. Okay, one Black Friday, I was like, now this is when I was younger, when I was you know I was a lot more adventurous. Let's put it that way, um, and I actually wanted to see just for the hell of it. I wanted to see what it was all about going out on a Black Friday. I wanted to see what it's like shopping for the door busters. Okay. So at the time, I went to a Circuit City probably about an hour before the doors opened. I go on, I got a coffee and a breakfast sandwich from like a Dunkin' Donuts or something like that because they were open crack of dawn for Black Friday. And I drove over to Circus City. I wanted to see what it was all about. Now, this was like an hour before they opened, okay? I'm driving into the mall parking lot. And there's Circuit City on my left. So I'm going to turn into the Circuit City parking lot. As I do this, people are in the dark, by the way, because it's dark. It's like, you know, 5 in the morning, maybe. People are running, running through the parking lot in front of my moving car, cutting me off. They're running for the front doors of Circuit City. Why? Because a mob had started to form at the front door. The store wasn't opening. But people are so dumb, they actually convinced themselves they were about to open. And that if they didn't get there in time, they were going to miss out on the door buster specials. So they were like full, ch like a bull. Full run charging through the parking lot. Running in front of my car. I had to slam on the brakes. Like, what the fuck? Like, are you insane? You, what, for what? You're going to stick a fucking RAM for your computer? You're going to get hit by a car? Like, what the fuck is with these fucking people? And it was insane because I remember I just sat there. I actually parked there in the lot. And just was, I was having my coffee. I was eating my, my bagel sandwich. And I'm just observing. These people are, in, are, are literally insane. They're like trying to crawl over each other. They're going to fight to try to be the first into the store. Okay, and I remember it was, I'm not even kidding, about another hour before the doors opened. These people were running through the parking lot to get to the doors before they opened an hour early and uh, risking getting hit by a car. For what? 
What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> so saving some money on like a television or something is worth dying. And I, I actually remember later that day, I went into the mall to see what kind of sales were at the mall. They were all terrible. I went and back then, FYE was a big thing. I went to FYE and it was like the best deal was like used DVDs were like $5 each. Back then, DVDs were actually expensive. So it was like, oh, a used DVD for five bucks and you could buy like, you know, 10, 15 movies for like 50 bucks. But they were used. So half of them probably didn't even work anyway. Like that was the best deal at FYE. All the normal, all the stuff, nothing was at a good price. You know, nothing was at a good sale price. Um, and I just remember saying, these people are, are, why would they act like this besides hype? Like they get, they buy so much into hype that they believe that these things are deals worth risking their health and, and livelihood and, and life for. When in reality, it's just, you're an idiot. You 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 fell for the mob mentality bullshit. You're such a, you're, you're a dunce. You know what gets me? I was actually just saying this. Uh, I was just thinking this this morning. Door buster. Okay? The whole premise of a door buster. Think about what that term means. Busting down the door of the store to get a deal. Now... Do you think that any retail store actually wants customers to literally kick down their front doors and destroy the front of the store to buy something on Black Friday? No. So then why does the company advertise the deals as door busters? You're actually promoting violence and bad behavior in the name of the sale that you have on Black Friday. Like you're actually promoting that behavior by calling it a door buster. You make people get hyped to grind up for that door and burst through the fucking door to grab that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you, fucking stupid? And the answer is, yes, these retail companies have become so desperate for sales now. They literally will risk the livelihood of their employees. Or excuse me. Let risk the health and safety of their employees and the store in order to make an extra buck on Black Friday. That's how fucked up these companies have become. Any door buster. No, don't say door buster, you dumb piece of shit. You're going to hurt people. Anyway. Um, all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, last last couple shout outs, and we'll check on how many members we have. And then we'll at least play a little bit of Halo before I have to go to bring my wife to work. The Adeli Tesla just became an ultra member. Wow. Thank you so much for the ultra level of support there. I really appreciate that. And then Team Ico Gamer had hit the re up message for five months of support and said, You live in the trolls' heads rent free. I'm sure I do. Um, all right, let's see here. Let's see here. I want to see how many members we got. If we can up that, and then we'll get started with Halo gameplay. In fact, here, I'll, I'll start booting up the console now. We are at 306. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have matched... As of today, we have matched the top number of members that we've had on the channel, all right? If we get one more member today, we have actually hit the record of 307 would be the record, the most we've ever had here on the channel, okay? So, today would be a great day with Multiplayer Madness. It absolutely would be a great day um, for hitting a record and becoming a member and trying to hit the goal, right? It would be. Today would be the day. If you were holding off on becoming a channel member, become a channel member today. Let's get it going. Let's hit this Let's hit this freaking goal so that way we can do all the special stuff for Christmas. Sound good? I hope so. We're going to get started. We're going to jump right in. Fire7672 just became a channel supporter, and I believe that might actually be it. That might actually be our record. Let's double check that, and if it is, awesome, and then we'll get started here with Halo. Yes, we've done it. That is the new record, 307 and climbing. Thank you guys so much for that support. I really appreciate that, man. That is awesome that we could jump, get a great start on the day like that. And now we're well on our way, right? Also, I got to get my Gunner glasses because thank you so much, Team Ico Gamer, for the generous tip that pumped us up to get the Gunner glasses right away, right? Cool. Good stuff. All right. Okay, very nice. Thank you guys very much. Let's get the show on the road. 